Hey everyone, Rod the Tool Guy here at Aries Garage and Workshop. Thanks for joining us today. Today we're going to talk about the 71502 Coolant Refill Kit. If you've ever refilled a cooling system, you know how something like this can really benefit you. And if you've not done that before, this thing is something you really need. It's going to help you out. It's going to allow you to refill the uh, cooling system and purge that air out of there, making your job much easier. It helps keep the coolant where it needs to be so it's not getting all over your belts and stuff, making squeaky noises and getting all over the floor. The animals get in it, environmental stuff. You don't want that. So with the uh, five adapters, it gives you a good broad range of coverage and you have elbow and extensions uh, to uh, get at those hard to reach places on some of these cars like the GM that has an angle on the radiator cap. So it'll keep this uh, funnel set upright. So what we're going to do is we're going to use it on a couple of vehicles so you can see a couple applications and see how it all hooks up and talk about uh, how you use the system and what to watch for. So let's get to it. Okay, this is one of the things we were talking about. This radiator cap is here and it's right underneath this cowl piece. Hard to get to. So uh, with the adapters and everything we have in the kit, it's going to allow us to get in there and do what we need to do. So we're going to take a second to talk about safety with cooling systems. Cooling systems run very hot. Uh, they run under pressure to keep the boiling point down. And uh, you let that pressure off when they're fully heated up. It's like a fountain. It just comes blasting out of there and it will burn you badly. Um, always wear eye protection. Uh, gloves for your hands is a good idea. A rag when you're dealing with the cap. Give the hose a squeeze, make sure there's no pressure in the system. It'll collapse down real nice and easy. Um, definitely, you know, make sure that it's cooled down before you open these systems up. Safety first, always. So, now that we've uh, talked about that, let's uh, go ahead and open the system up. And I'm, It's thoroughly cooled down. I checked it. So, I've got the right adapter going. and You know, it's one of those things, you try one, if it doesn't work, try the other one. You see it's got a spring in here that uh, helps keep this piece locked down inside the neck of it there. Um, whether it's on a radiator or a pipe like this. So you just uh, go ahead and line it up and give it a turn. Now, and now you can feel it lock in place. You notice I pushed down, started it, then I let the pressure up as I turned it and allowed it to lock in place. If you keep this thing pushed down, it's just going to spin, 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 and it's not going to lock. You have to release the pressure off of it and let it lock up against the tabs. So, now that we've done that, we can use our adapters, like so. Make sure they're firmly in there. And now, I can place my funnel in here and service my system. This will allow me to fill it up get the air out. Now, a couple things you need to know is uh, your, if your system has bleeds on it that you need to open as you refill. And also you always want to turn your heater to hot because the water valve will then be open and allow it to circulate through the heater core and the hoses to get all the air out of there. And if you have a thermostat that's at the bottom of the motor, a reverse system, it's a good idea to uh, backfill it. And that's a little different depending on the system. If you can't get the coolant down inside the block on those, uh, they'll tend to want to overheat on you because you get air in there you can't get out. So on some of them, uh, I'll take the upper hose off to start with and I'll fill through there to get some coolant down inside the engine, then put it together and finish it out this way. Um, once you get that uh, coolant down inside the motor, then you can uh, start her up, watch for the air to purge out here. The level's going to drop. You're going to add more to it until uh, the level stops dropping and uh, let that fan circulate so you know that it's fully up to temp. And then go ahead and put your stopper down, seal it up, and you can remove the funnel. And the access on the funnel, you can put in your coolant overflow um works good for that too for filling those so basically that's a general overview on how it's done 
you just really need to be kind of familiar with the car as to whether it has air bleeds or not or whether it has a thermostat at the bottom of the motor for filling technique uh, there were some years on certain cars we had to jack up a wheel in one corner to get the air all the way out this uh, information is pretty readily available out there uh, on the different models so if you uh, search for it you'll find it and uh, with this uh, handy dandy kit here is going to make it real simple okay so you can see this is a little different we've got a surge tank here and we're out in the open so it makes it uh, a lot easier access so i've made sure my system is cooled down there's no pressure in it so i can safely take the cap off make sure you have your safety equipment on so now this takes the uh, gm style screw adapter <clears throat> push it on there down so it gets started on the threads holding it down Screw it down until it doesn't screw down anymore. You're ready to go. The spring is keeping this locked down. So now you can put your funnel in place and go ahead and fill your system. And it's just that easy. You go ahead and make sure your heater valve is on hot and uh, start her up and purge the air out. And when the air stops bubbling out and your coolant level is dropped down in here, you know you got your system filled up. And then you can... Uh, uh, Go about your way. It's just that simple and easy. Uh, one thing I want to mention is when you pull this up, pull it up till it clicks, holds it in place for you. So there you go. Be sure to register your tool, join our VIP club, and uh, stay safe out there. We'll see you next time.